Hello, in this video we'll be looking at a question from the A-level paper 1, more specifically paper 1-2 from the year 2023. Um, this is the question we'll be looking at today and I'll be doing the solution out on the whiteboard, hopefully like uh, just like your teacher would if you were in school. If you were looking for another question from this paper, you should be able to find that in a playlist below the video. Okay, let's get to this question. In question one, we're going to be doing some calculus, specifically some integration. This question sets it up by saying there is an equation of a curve. So there's some y equals curve. And if we differentiate that, we get this. dy dx is equal to 4 divided by x minus 3 to the power of 3. And they want us to find the curve, y equals this. They tell us, and it'll be useful later, that the curve does have 4, 5 on it. The 0.45 is on the curve. So what we need to do is integrate this. Integrate this, we get y. So yeah, let me just write that. y is equal, and we need to integrate this side. So the integral of 4 over x minus 3 to the power of 3 uh, with respect to x. Now we can do this in our head, actually. It's not too complicated of an integral. Um, lots of students do, but it's, it's really not hard to do it the slow way either. So I'm just going to use substitution. I always use substitution. I always check my answers like this. Well, not if I was doing it myself, maybe, sometimes. But when I'm teaching, I always use it. So we'll substitute this with u. And so u is equal to x minus 3. The u dx is equal to 1. That means the u is equal to the x. So if I substitute all of that, this comes out as the integral of 4 over u. Uh, cubed and instead of dx it's equal to du so I can just go ahead and change it and again I also usually change this to the integral of 4 times u to the minus 3 du because now I can just use the normal um, the normal formula for integration we take this power we add 1 to it and we divide so this becomes um, let's see this power add 1 we get minus 2 so 4 divided by minus 2, u to the minus 2, plus some constant. And again, let's, we can clean that up. We can get minus 2 over u squared. Again, plus a constant. And sorry, let me do it one more time over here. Minus 2 over, instead of u, let's substitute it back. x minus 3 squared uh, plus the constant c. Uh, we'll finish the question up here in this box. Um, sorry, yes. Uh, so lots of students would have just gone straight from this uh, to this. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. If you're able to do it, brilliant. Just make sure you're not making any mistakes. But you can do it quite quickly with substitution. Okay, so this final one. Let me, let me write it up here. y is equal to minus 2 over x minus 3 squared plus c. So what is c? Well, luckily, we know what x and y is at, at one point. At one point, we do know what x and y is. So instead of writing y, let's write 5. And minus 2. Instead of writing x, let's write 4. And to the power 2. And that way, we'll find out what c is. This equation, we know everything but c. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Um, minus 2 divided by 1 is just minus 2. Basically, this all disappears. Uh, add 2 to both sides, we get 7 is equal to c. And uh, then we just write the answer again. y is equal to minus 2 over x minus uh, 2 squared. Very, very hard to see there. x minus 2 squared uh, plus 7. So that is the full equation of that curve. And you can go ahead and check your answer. Differentiate this, make sure it, get, it looks like this again. Um, that won't help you with the 7 though. You can check that the 7 is right by putting this number in to this and uh, putting 4 into it and see if, seven, if 5 comes up. Okay, I hope that answers that question. If you have any comments, put them in the comments below.